I love the Twilight Zone. I was a big, big, big fan of the Twilight Zone. There really are so many uh, masterpiece level episodes of the Twilight Zone. The most memorable episode is probably, you know, the the Shatner plane episode. Nightmare at 20,000 Feet was always a favorite of mine. It's just a really, really terrifying episode. One of my favorite episodes is It's a Good Life. There's the boy where he points and he's like, You're a bad man. You're a very bad man. I just love the boy and his sense of power. I have a lot of favorite Twilight Zone episodes, but the one that comes to mind is this couple wakes up from a night out and they drank too much and they don't know where they are. And then they run around the town and nothing is alive. And eventually this child's hand comes out of the sky and lifts them up and their playthings to, to this little child. The one that affected me the most is probably a hitchhiker. To this day, I cannot get in my car, especially at night, without looking in the back seat to make sure nobody is there. And the image of that man in the rear view mirror still haunts me. But I guess that's the whole point, is that you keep thinking about what you've watched and, and what you need to learn from the episodes. I believe you're going my way. I really enjoyed um, Eye of the Beholder. A woman is getting plastic surgery because they say that she's hideous. Please take this off me. The woman's like, what's wrong with me? What? What's happening? What's wrong with me? And then they rip the bandages off and she looks completely normal. Got a really arresting image of all these people with the masks stuck to their faces. There's that great episode about the man who wishes he could just sit and have some time to read all the books. It's called Time Enough at Last and it stars Burgess Meredith. And I just remember him hating everybody and wanting everything. He shouted, everybody stop. He just wanted the world to himself. Finally, the world ends, and he is left alone. He has all these books, and he has all the time in the world to read these books. Just as he's celebrating, his glasses fall off and break on the ground. And so he's basically. 